Over the past 18 months, the US economy has received a significant amount of help. Of course, base interest rates are still effectively at zero, and the US government, as well as central bank, have offered around $8 trillion worth of help. With all this help, equity markets and investors are really starting to expect company earnings to take off over the next 12 months. This may not be plain sailing, and this was reinforced with some results out on Friday. JP Morgan led banking shares down with a weaker than expected earnings result. In addition to this, America's largest aluminium producer, Alcoa, also led shares down with weaker than expected quarterly announcement. On the currency front, the New Zealand dollar did trade just back, trading at around 73.80 on Monday morning against the US dollar. Of interest to New Zealand farmers will be the earnings announcement from Cargill, the world's largest agricultural commodity trader. Their earnings has fallen by 59% in the second quarter to 480 million US dollars. The earnings announcement does give a pretty good insight into what farmers globally are facing at this present time. They have seen a big drop off in their fertilizer business where emerging economies have really pulled back with demand. Emerging economies like South America as well as Eastern Europe have faced lower product prices as well as tight credit conditions. Cargill do foresee that they will see an uptick in the fertiliser business in time. The good news for us here in New Zealand is that Cargill do an announce that they have seen some pretty good demand coming through for the food service industry as well as some of their animal protein businesses. The US beef industry has seen some positive influences over the past week or two. Freezing weather conditions in the US has meant that more Americans are into the food service industry and also eating hamburgers. Americans eating hamburgers is good for our beef industry here in New Zealand. As a result of this, imported bull and cow prices have increased over the past two weeks. Here in New Zealand, dry weather conditions are putting some pressure on schedule prices, however. More farmers are putting their stock into slaughterhouses in order to get them off the paddocks. While international prices are holding for the time being, it is unlikely that we will see an increase in schedule prices until we see some greenness in the pastures.